Hello to everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to show you many new productivity features of GreenShift Page Builder that will speed up your work. Let's dive in and first option will be simple copy paste style attributes. To use it simply click on brush icon in any of GreenShift blocks and click on copy styles. Then in another block, click to paste them. By the way, if you want to clean all styles in block, you can find here also option to do this. Another place to remove styles of blocks is to remove root class, but I must mention that root class is available only on green light element blocks. Copy style option has also some more advanced features. For example, imagine that you have several simple elements in block and you want to copy styles for all images. Then, you can copy styles from one image, select parent block, and choose paste styles to all similar blocks. Copy style option can be used not only for copying design, but also extra parameters like interactions or animations. For this kind of job, you need to copy styles as usual, but select paste styles by type. Now, you can choose what exactly to copy between blocks. This helps also to copy specific parameter instead of all. I will show all next options primarily on Greenlight Elements blocks. You can find them in Inserter, but make sure that you have enabled them when you installed GreenShift. Also, you can enable them in Settings. There is one feature that is unique for GreenShift, and I think you will use it more often than Copy Style feature. It's Local Instance feature. To use it, also click on Brush icon and select Relevant option. This will create copy of block, but all styles of block will be connected to original instance. You can change content of each block of instanced copy, but design will be controlled from your original block. Click on Special Locate button, and you will have original block selected automatically, so you don't need to search it on page. From original block, you can change design, and as you see, it will be shared on all instances. Now, what if you want to change some parameters on instance? You have few choices for this. Let me duplicate block to show you both ways. First option is detach option. This will simply unlink block from original. In the same time, all styles from original block will be copied to detached block so you can continue to edit them. Second option is adding extra local classes. In this way, block will continue to be linked, but you can overwrite some options from class. You can have style instances not only for local blocks, but also for global reusable blocks. In this example, I have partially synchronized card template that I made in my patterns. But how can I change colors of instance without affecting original styles? WordPress has no such option, but if you have installed GreenShift or Greenlight Page Builder, you have option to make extra instance also for reusable templates. To use this option, select your template block and find extra link, click on it, and create new instance controller. This will create wrapper around reusable template and create local classes. Now, you can overwrite styles of elements without touching original styles. I need to mention that you can overwrite only styles of blocks that have some class. So, if you want to change specific element, make sure that you added any class to element when you create pattern. If some blocks can have overwritten styles, then they have high specificity in original styles. Likely, you can easily fix this by clicking on special specificity icon in controller class. If you prefer class-first workflows, we also have a lot of features that speed up creation, management, and editing classes. Also, GreenShift is maybe the only editor that provides management not only for global classes, but also for local.
These types of classes do the same that global, but they are encapsulated to page and generating on fly reducing unused styles on page. When you create local or global class in block, select it and find special brush icon, the same as in toolbar of blocks. Here you can find many extra features, for example, auto class generation. Another useful option that you will use in combination with auto class creation is auto selector creation. This will create selectors from all children from their classes. And now you can edit all styles of children directly from parent class. All styles will be encapsulated and saved in parent class. So it's like local design instance. Auto class creation will use name of block if you set custom name. If not, it will use tag or type of block and level of block. You can also rename classes directly from class panel or from advanced section in inspector. You can rename also any sub selector. The same as in regular design styles of block, you can copy styles from one class to another and from one sub selector to another. Another time saving feature is class inheritance. When you add new class to one of blocks, all other blocks that have the same parent block can access it from class selector, so you don't need to type class names again and again if you want to copy it. Instead of local classes, you can also use global classes. This type will save data in global options, so they will be available across whole site. By the way, you can copy styles also from block styles to classes styles. Do this in the same way as usual copying, but paste them in class options. Now, you can remove root class where block saves local styles. Please note that until you click on save icon, your styles will be rendered locally but not saved in database. Once you saved class, you can select it on any page of your site, and it will be applied to block with all attached attributes, selectors, and styles. You can change global class from any of instances of any page where you have block with this global class. All of them will be synchronized. You just need to save class after changes, and it will be applied on all pages. Anyway, I don't recommend to create too much global classes to keep your database as clean as possible. All your global classes, variables, and other global options can be accessible from Stylebook. Here you can find all of your classes and edit them. Don't forget to save values. You can also save all your global things inside Snapshot. For this, when you are on Stylebook page, make sure to select Stylebook block and you will find Snapshot panel there. Save your current values in New Snapshot. Now you can change any of your global options and save them inside any of Snapshots. I will create a new one for demo purpose. Now if you want to return to any snapshots, simply click to import it. As you see, after page reloading, we have button colors from our previous saved snapshot. In this way, you can simply load any of your options that are saved in snapshot. Additionally, instead of using snapshots, you can export or import all your global options as file. For this, follow to green shift Import, Export panel, and select what you want to export. This way is working also between sites. Let me show next color feature of Page Builder and its updated green light kit of variables. All of them are deeply integrated inside options of element blocks. If you move through panels, you will see that each panel have presets for most common used options. 
Most of presets show not only green shift presets, but also themes configuration. All of presets use WordPress core system rules, so you can configure them also from theme JSON file. But even if you change theme, GreenShift will add fallback values so your blocks will not lose values after themes switch. All presets will highlight input where you put them, and you can see that value is used from preset configuration. You can also change preset values and variables from Stylebook. Let me show how to do this. If you want to edit preset variables or add your own, you need to visit Stylebook and follow to variable section. Here, you can add on variables or select one of variables that we use inside presets and overwrite it. Don't forget to save variables when you finish to edit them. Your custom variables will be available also in extra dropdown in unit control. Let's add some example so I can show you how it works. When you select to use font size, you can click small arrow icon in left corner of field. Or simply click with right mouse button and you will see new dropdown will be opened. Here you can put own variable or any text value or select custom variable that you created in Stylebook. Panels can include not only value presets, but also visual and layout builders, for example, column layout presets. You can use also grid builder with visual drag and drop interface for more complex layouts. Some blocks have also extra visual helpers. For example, you can change size, borders, spacings around block, and even set custom absolute position with drag and drop. There are some ready preset classes also in class selector. This will add specific effect to your object can be very helpful if you don't want to spend time to add basic perspective effects or hover effects. Also, there are few interactive presets that can add useful interactions. One of my favorite is Smart Scroll class that turns any block to scrollable. We also have separate scrollable and carousel blocks if you need more complex. Another bunch of interesting and helpful stuff can be found in effects section. Let's review mask option. You can enable two types of masking. First is gradient fade. Helpful on carousels or marquee blocks. Second is image masking. We added here a lot of ready mask objects that you can easily add to blocks. You can also control position and sizing option of each mask. And if you want, you can also import on image mask. It must have black and white colors to work as image mask for element. Animation presets are another strong point of GreenShift, and we included own animation framework that is very light and fast. It's using native browser options, and in the same time, it's very flexible. You can select ready balanced presets or select custom preset and configure animation effect. And if it's not enough for you, you can enable advanced animation option that is based on GSAP library. We already reviewed animation panel in depth in our other videos as well as animation presets in effect panel where you can enable many scroll based native motions. What is more important, animation presets can be used not only for animations, but also for micro interactions because it can have different activators. Let me show on practical example. Here I added WooCommerce query block and it has some icons. Now, I want to show these icons only on hover. 
For this, I group whole product card in another element and put special parent hover class activator. Now, in animation presets, I just need to select animation on hover class. Also, I will enable animation on child. This will animate not black itself, but its direct children. I added also some staggered delay for better effect. Let's see how it looks now. How cool is that? And we built it with just few clicks. Same principles can be used in combination with interaction layers. And this feature also have many ready presets. For example, you can create custom panels. And panels will be our regular blocks with attached animations that have active class trigger. And our interaction is set to make click on button. For demo purposes, I will create few items very fastly and speed up video. Here I just added few elements and centered them in blocks with help of flexible display option that you can find in layout panel. And this is effect what we have. If you check inner blocks of panel, you can see that these are regular blocks. And it means that we can configure them in very flexible way. For example, we can change animation type or build own apparent effect. We can change animation preset for all items inside panel, so let's try this. We can do the same for whole panel to change effect, which will happen on interaction. As you see, it's totally different look now. I hope you understand now how flexible and time-saving this solution in comparison with other builders. By the way, it's common scenario when you build off canvas panels or pop-ups that you want to hide them in editor or show them when you need to edit. And for this, we have another option that you can use to hide or show something depending on context. You can do this not only for block, but also for separate global or local classes. You can just make styles of classes to be applied only on front end or back end. Very helpful for panels with fixed or absolute positions. I think you are already tired from my voice, so let's finish and I will show you last panels with quick interaction presets. First is tooltip, just add it to any element and put text. Second is mouse movement interaction. Enable it on any element and add strength of movement. You can also use selector of your parent element if you want to have movement only if user hover over this element. And last one for today is custom cursor option. To use it, we must add any element inside our block where we want to have custom cursor this element will be used as our cursor followed object when you hover over block. You need to copy unique selector of this item. You can copy it from class panel or simply use selector builder. This will have the same results. You just need to put this selector in relevant field. Now we can test it to see how it works. But for today, that's all folks. God bless you and your sites and see you in next video.